hello YouTube viewers welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show how to change your ISO setting for your camera during this whole video I'll be doing that on my Nikon D90 DSLR camera but uh, this video is helpful to anyone who is using a camera either compact or an uh, SLR camera and for new users this is a very good tip to get started with a camera as well so uh, let's talk about ISO first ISO is something that increases the brightness of the surrounding artificially using the camera so it makes your area of interest that you want to take picture of it makes it brighter so uh, that's when you use it so um, Let's start with a scenario. You are in a concert, which would be obviously very dim light. And if you want to take a picture of someone on the stage who is performing live, at the instant, you'll notice that if you use the automated mores in a camera, which is uh, that part, using flash or anything, you'll end up having a picture dark. That's because your flash won't reach your subject. That's one thing. And other thing is the lightings around your subject uh, who is on the stage is very poor. So you get very bad pictures. So how do you increase that? The answer is using the ISO. To use the ISO in Nikon D90 DSLR camera, first of all, you need to change the mode to manual mode which is the M, A, S and P they are the manual modes so I'm doing that in manual mode to get started with changing it make sure your camera is on and the lens, is, lens cover is taken off and one more thing to bear in mind is to turn off your live view screen panel which is off here as well as you can see and uh, to change it you need to know where the ISO button is so looking here is the first second button from below so that one return ISO on the top is the button you need to press to change your setting and once you keep pressing that and rotate this dialer circular dialer over here it increases the ISO setting of your camera the maximum you can get is 6400 which in this camera shows as uh, H1.0 so that is how you do it okay now I'm actually going to show you how it is done press and hold the ISO button so that the LCD on the top is just showing some numbers leave it it shows like that press it again it shows like that so it's H1.0 over here right now so if you rotate your circular dialer it will get down in number so now it's 500 as you can see over here and if you rotate your circular dialer outwards it will increase the number so now it is H1.0 so depending upon how much uh, so you need you just set it and then take a picture guys uh, that is how you use the ISO but let me tell you one thing uh, that's actually a disadvantage of using an ISO so the more ISO you take um, increase and uh, the more ISO you choose to take the picture the more noise you get in a picture so if it is 3200 ISO the picture will have some noticeable noise and if it's 6400 ISO setting then you'll get much more noise but bear in mind if you are taking a picture of someone in dark lit condition then it's better to increase the ISO and get a better picture of that subject with some noise in it rather than taking a picture of someone with the automated service of the camera without increasing an ISO and resulting taking a picture that is very poorly lit or very dark picture or the subject is not visible or something like that so 
that is how you do it so that's the advantage of ISO setting uh, beforehand I used to have a compact digital camera and I never used my ISO because I was not aware of that nobody told me about that and I didn't bother to look at that he used a manual as well so this is where ISO comes in and this will help you in future when you take pictures in dark lit conditions and also indoors that will help a lot that is today's tutorial for ISO I told you about what ISO is uh, when to use it uh, different scenarios and the disadvantage of using the ISO setting but overall ISO is helpful sometimes so I hope that video helped uh, if you like it please subscribe and there will be more videos coming on Nikon D90 plus some tutorials on photography as well so keep yourself tuned uh, to my channel and I will show you more videos in future finally Happy New Year 2012 keep rocking guys thank you bye